Finally, we completed a complex incident response, a digital forensic investigation, and a root cause analysis to discover what had happened. And now we are running a comparative compromise assessment on other systems to ensure none are infected the same way. We spent considerable time, resources, and effort to mitigate the risk and lower the impact on our business operation and reputation. All are okay now, but a big lesson was learned. Everything could have been done way better, easier, and faster if we proactively identified the issues behind that cyber attack. We could have eliminated the risk, prevented the attack, or at least prepared better. Hi, I am Isam Aslahi, and this is the second part of the Cyber Threat Hunt 101 series by Nothing Cyber. In the previous episode, we discussed three factors that make having an airtight cyber defense challenging. A magical triangle, a layer of Swiss cheese, and a Scopex. Have you checked the first episode? Please do it. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video, and turn on the notification bell. Cybersecurity requires a holistic approach in creating diverse controls, technologies, and services to create an effective defense against threats. At the high level, threat prevention, monitoring, and detection fall into two categories, reactive and proactive. Reactive cybersecurity deals with the aftermath of an incident to limit the impact. Traditionally, we formulate protective measures and deploy technologies accordingly. We monitor and observe continuously and go for incident response and recovery in case of any detection. Well, nothing wrong with this. It's an integral part of every defensive strategy, but there are some challenges. According to IBM, about 80% of threats can be successfully handled by automated security tools, SOC Tier 1 and Tier 2. The remainings are sophisticated cyber attacks that can avoid standard monitoring and detections. Another report by Mandiant evaluated the efficiency of security controls against different stage of attack life cycles. And what was the conclusion? Security controls are not performing as expected. I highly recommend to read them. The links are in description. While security measures and technologies continue to advance in countering cyber threats, adversaries are also enhancing their abilities to evade them. Think of AI. It has become a powerful technology in enhancing cybersecurity strategies and solutions. That's great. But wait, who stops attacker to use the same technology to enhance their cyber attacks? Not to mention that cyber attackers might be ahead of us in using technologies. Don't get me wrong. I'm not against reactive approaches, but in my opinion, we can just deploy a tool, enjoy our popcorn and keep monitoring, wait until something happens, and then only try to handle it. <laughs> reactive security is crucial, but it's not sufficient on its own. Employing proactive cybersecurity measures in parallel is a must. Proactive security focuses on identifying, mitigating, or eliminating potential security threats, issues, and gaps before malicious actors can use them. The main aim is to prevent cyber attacks before they happen, but it also helps uncover threats that may have evaded traditional security and respond to them before they can cause significant damage. Either way, proactive cybersecurity offers a range of significant benefits that empower overall security posture. Let me give you a few examples. Identifying unknown issues and discovering new attack surfaces. Early threat detection and prevention. Rapid response to cyber threats and minimizing incident dwell time that significantly lower down the impact of the cyber attacks and actually make reactive cybersecurity much easier. And of course, effective risk management and more benefits. By the way, proactive cybersecurity goes beyond just technical services for digital assets and covers people and processes as well. Let me give you a few examples again. Two proactive methods for people are awareness and training and phishing campaigns. We can also use cyber drills and continuous auditing to improve our processes. On the tech side, we have many services, such as vulnerability assessment, penetration testing, red teaming, bug bounty, and cyber threat hunting. In the next episode, 
we will dive deep into the cyber threat hunt. Stay tuned and let the hunt begin.